Hi everyone! Very excited to share with you this project that is finally completed. Um, and I, I just can't wait to show it, so without further ado, um, I am on my dining room table because uh, I'm recording at my dining room because this is so big that I my craft room just is no room. Um, this is a three-tier uh, hat box cake and a cake hat box three-tier. Uh, there are three hat boxes that are one on top of the next, which um, I had made for my mom's birthday. And it looks really looks like a real cake. And um, every single flower and bow um, I have created on my own here. And I have the bottom standing on a beautiful candlestick holder that I purchased in Home Goods. It's all glass. It's very pretty. That is on a piece of um, poster board. Let me try and see if you can see underneath. It's adhered to a piece of poster board. There it is. Which also has some uh, the Kaiser Craft paper line that I used um, on that. And then that is adhered to the box, which is also decorated. I've used a lot of vintage laces here and vintage trims. Um, every single flower was handcrafted. I made all of them, including the bows. Those bows are a satin champagne pink bow that I created. There's bows that are going all around the cake, as well as bows going, excuse me, as well as flowers going, oh, halfway around the cake, kind of like cascading from the top left down to the right and then down to the left. Almost like a wedding cake, kind of, but it's a birthday cake. Can't eat it, though. And the flowers are beautiful, topped with two doves. Just love the way that looks. These two were connected. I got those in Hobby Lobby. And I decided to separate them and use them as a cake top. Um, the paper roses were all made from scratch. The really large ones are about five inches um, in diameter. Those took me um, over an hour to make one, probably an hour and a half or so. Just beautiful. Um, they range from that size all the way to a much smaller size. Here are some more flowers on the back side of that. It's completely finished all the way around. <clears throat> and the colors range from pale gray to beige to buff pink to... Um, pale yellow to coral to purple, burgundy, um, and I think that's it. There's some uh, spray, spray flourishes and pearls here that I inserted into a very large pearl and made that uh, a flourish. So I have those uh, on the top, in the center, and on the bottom. I also use this really beautiful trim that I purchased in Hobby Lobby as well. It's a pearl trim with rhinestones in the center. I use that on the top box and on the bottom box. And in the center, I use just rhinestones. Came out absolutely radiant. My mom is going to be very excited. She will probably cry when she sees this because this is probably one of the largest craft projects that I've ever made period. Uh, I spent about three weeks on this and it was very time consuming making the flowers, just, you know, um, creating them, putting things down, doing something else, coming back at it. So you can see the bows there. Love that one. And uh, the final uh, thing is, is that the, um, the top of the box comes off on all of them and there are presents in each box there are a lot of presents in each box and the very large box on the bottom that one has a pretty blouse inside of it I tried to fold it as small as I can with tissue paper in between so it doesn't get wrinkled um, and there's lots of goods up here that my mom can use that she really needs very pretty makeups and lipsticks and creams and lotions and it just all fit in so nicely of course, with them not being inside the box, they come in. Otherwise, it would not have fit in a small box on top. And pajamas and nightgown and socks and a phone book in the middle. 
and uh, a beautiful blouse in the uh, bottom. And we're taking my mom out on Saturday evening to a really nice restaurant on Surprise. So I hope you enjoy seeing this. I, I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm kind of holding my iPod and uh, recording this because the camera battery ran out. And every time I made a recording, just in the middle of everything, either the phone rang or the doorbell or I was needed somewhere. <laughs> so I wasn't able to really finish um, recording. So anyway, that's it in its entirety. And I hope you guys, I'm trying to step back as far away as I can. I just want to turn it a little so that you can see it. It just looks so pretty. I'm so excited to give it to her. I'm actually going to miss it. <laughs> it's been sitting here <clears throat> excuse me, for a couple of days. So I'm going to miss looking at it because every time I walk by the dining room, um, I just see this beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful gift here. And it's so pretty with all the flowers. So, and that's it, friends. I hope that you um, enjoy seeing this uh, beautiful three-tier box cake that I made for my mom with all of my handmade paper roses. And uh, I appreciate you tuning in and watching my video today. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.